So let's say we have to fix a defect on our current release. And after the defect had been fixed, obviously we would like to leverage that defect on our trunk. So we have to merge it down to our trunk. Let's do that. Notice that everything is grayed out. Obviously I do not have anything local yet that pertains to my release one. I will simply right click and choose get latest version. This will copy everything pertaining to release one onto my local hard drive. Done. Let's go ahead and open up the solution. This time I'm opening up the solution from the branch. This is the actual solution that we used at the time when we deployed to production. Great. Let's find a file where we can make a change to. Again, using our famous default.aspx.cs. Let's say, for some reason, somebody in production did not like those comments, which I can understand. Let's remove them. We simply start typing, typing, it checked out the file. There we go. Let's save this file. Let's check the file in using our pending changes window. And check it in. Now the change has been made on the trunk. The build team can simply go ahead now and build the release, push it out to production and everything is fine. The problem is the defect we just fixed, we need to copy it. We have to merge it back to the trunk. Let's do that. I simply right click on the trunk and say merge. Merge from trunk release all changes to the trunk. Based on the latest version, that is the latest version of the branch, not the trunk. It has all necessary information collected to begin merging. And that is it. Let's see what happens. When I click on the trunk again, I see a new symbol here, indicating that the pending change now is merge. And it had been checked out by Oliver for edit. This is important. Let's open up the solution that's on my trunk. Let's look at the actual file. It's checked out by me. Double click. Notice that the comments are gone, but obviously we haven't checked them in yet. So let's go ahead and check them in. And that is it. That's how you create branches. That's how you merge down from a branch back to the truck. Microsoft Teams System Source Control makes it a snap.